Guess who's got a package? I do. Good stuff. Oh, I wonder what's inside this one, folks. Well, let me get out a knife and we're going to do an unboxing. Of course, if you check out the title, you're probably going to be uh, aware of what this is, of what product we have inside this box today. Let's see here. There you go. Ugh. Someone put a lot of tape on this thing. So we got an awesome product. That should be good enough. There we go. All right. Oh, man. Look at this. Ugh. These things get everywhere, don't they? They're a mess. Just a mess. A uh, nice big old mystery box. Of course, I did... God damn. This stuff's gonna spill out everywhere. It's like, it can't be helped. You try and, you try and pick up the object really nice to avoid spilling these things all over the place. Uh, pick it up gently. Don't spill. They get everywhere. You have to pick them up off the floor. And then they stick the things. Look at this. It's hanging off. <laughs> get out of there. Okay, more bubble wrap. Uh, I guess I need my knife again. Damn. Okay, let's see here. Just kind of... There we go. Uh, more tape over here, of course. It's just kind of... There we go. Oh, look, more tape, folks. Good lordy. How much tape do we need? There we go. Oh man, this is exciting. So as you can see, this product is really taken care of here. It's more, more, more padding, more tape. Oh, hold on. Knife time. How you doing? Okay, let's just kind of... There we go. Oh, more tape over here on this side, of course. Good God, man. It's... It's a food product. It's not like, I don't know, a kidney. I'm not, I'm not ordering a, a spare kidney for God's sakes. Okay, is that the last of the tape and, and bubble wrap packaging? There's a little more there. Okay, oh, it's getting all stuck together. Okay, here we go, folks. Ready, we're unwrapping. Oh, and look, look, we got like, uh, we got more here. It's inside this now. Paper towel. We got paper towel, folks. Oh, and more tape. But uh, you know, I think I'll I'll manage without my knife this time. I don't think I need a knife. You know what I mean? I think we can get by without the knife. Oh, oh, what do we got in here? Oh, it looks nice. It looks nice. Ugh. It's stuck on me. Ah, check this out. See what these are, folks? See what these are? This is chocolate not just any chocolate this is chocolate made with camel milk that's right folks check that out camel milk chocolate bars oh oh yeah look at that good stuff right there oh man these are big very nice size bars here i believe uh this is pronounced Alnasma, Al Alnasma, I think. I don't know. I'm sure someone will tell me. So this is, uh, is cocoa. I believe uh, 70%, it says right there. This is cocoa 70%. This, right here, this one, this is whole milk right there. Whole milk. Oh, that's awesome. So yeah, whole milk, whole milk. Whole milk. Yeah, I got uh, the majority that I bought were whole milk, and I bought one that was uh, cocoa 70% uh, because, I don't know, I just wanted to see the difference. Yeah, anyway, folks, camel milk is actually bigger than you think. And I'm here in the, in the U.S., and believe it or not, there is a market here in the U.S. for camel milk, and, uh, well, apparently, camel milk products. Yeah, they manufacture... These bars, all the way in Dubai. Dubai! That's where these are originally from. 
I actually purchased these from a supplier, I believe, uh, out west in, uh, in the U.S. And uh, I'll post that link in the description in case, you know, you're, you're curious about it. So yeah, look in the description and you can see, you can see where I got these babies from right here. Oh, camel milk chocolate bars. Chocolate with camel milk, folks. With camel milk. Yeah, but apparently camel milk is, uh, is really good for you. I don't know, it's supposed to have more vitamin C than uh, the milk of a cow. It's supposed to, uh, it's actually supposed to battle certain things like diabetes and other kind of types of illnesses. It's, uh, it's better for people who uh, have allergies and, you know, if they're lactose intolerant, you know, it's good for people like that. And of course, it's good for people like me because I love this stuff. Oh, what does the back say? Hey, you know what I'm going to try and do right now? I'm going to try. I could read the back, but uh, let me try to kind of put that up there with the camera. I mean, this isn't perfect, but uh, maybe you can kind of see that a little bit. If you can read, if you want, you can pause, look at it. That is the back of the candy bar wrapper, as you can see. Okay. And just a close shot. Oh, look at that camel there. That looks pretty awesome, don't you think? <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited to eat these. But I'm not going to eat them right now because <laughs> my camel milk uh, collection here <laughs> is not complete. I'm still waiting for another order of camel product, which I shall receive uh, some point soon, some point soon. I mean, these are chocolate bars. You can just kind of put these away. Not going to go bad. They'll be fine for a while. Don't leave them out in the sun. So yeah, there you go, folks. Check this out. What a beautiful product. What a crazy product. Camel milk chocolate bars. Yes. Yes. Ha ha ha. I'm a happy Dave the Usher. All right, good stuff, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe and rate this video. And I will see you guys next time. I am out.